All right, good morning, everybody. Look at this beautiful, beautiful morning here. In northern Alabama, it is just something to uh, be amazed at. I didn't have a lot of ambition on this trip to do any recording. And in fact, I wasn't gonna do any kind of product reviews, and we're gonna do this one on the fly. My buddy KC9OZA Ryan, he has a channel called Five Nine Radio. I was looking through his gear bag this morning while he was sleeping, because I wake up at like three in the morning. I found this real, potable antenna and i'm really curious to see what it's all about obviously it's an nfed half wave with a retractable almost looks like a, a chalk line retractable and this should be pretty interesting to see if we can get it in the air and we could get a tune or we can get a good match on the bands that we're looking for probably 40 20 15 and 10 and since i travel light i didn't bring an antenna analyzer so this will be really fun and maybe not even constituting as a review, but I just want to see how this works. So let's go try to set it up. I have a fishing pole over here, one of those uh, telescoping uh, fiberglass poles called the quick stick. Didn't read any of the instructions because that's not how I roll. But I have a carabiner. And I'm just going to clip it on the top of that quick stick. This is a good idea there, Ryan. Having the like keychain with the uh, carabiner, that works out well. Look at this, two-man job makes it a lot easier. So this quick stick, we're about, I would say, it's supposed to be 17 feet in the air, but what ends up happening is the tip of the quick stick bends a little bit. So we're probably about 15 feet in the air, and I'm just going to hang it up on top of the roof line over here. So we have the quick stick over there. We got a sloper configuration. What we're gonna end up doing here is, I think I have a carabiner that we could put it right up on here. So I'm gonna take this end fed off and I'll put it on the carabiner here and then the coax into the porch area. But here's what I'm doing. I'm taking another carabiner and I'm putting on this pre-installed, what would you call this? Um, relief, strap. relief strap, yeah. It's, uh, it's some kind of wire and I can't, Whatever, it's, yeah, we'll call it release strap. And I'm gonna put it up here. Uh, we got a little bit of a sloper issue, so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get that antenna back a little bit more, uh, and then we'll plug in the SO239. I just moved that wire, or the uh, fishing pole, over to the left more, and then we have a better sloper configuration that goes up to here. Ryan said that uh, when he did his POTA, which he plugged in the SO239, thanks, Ryan. Uh, when he did his poda, he had the wire, which I believe is 65 feet, all the way extended out. And then he reeled in about four more inches to be to resonant, just in case we didn't hear that earlier. And here we are at the uh, portable shack, if you will. This is my traveling cooler, and it's got uh, stories on it, if you will. So my Hams Gone Wild design, my only Hams is on here somewhere as well. We got the Ham Depot, Crash Course, all the people and the things and places I've been. It's, it's all a story right here, you know. So we got uh, Ham Radio Adventures. I didn't see Matt here at the Fest K6RK, all that good jazz, but you're here for this. Here at my 891 with my cool button. Go check out that video where I teach my dog how to call CQ. Well, Ryan saved the day because <laughs> uh, I brought two LiPo 4 batteries that were very small and they're both dead now. I have 100 amp hour, but I don't want to lug that out here. So we're using Ryan's LiPo 4. We're using Ryan's antenna, and we're gonna try this out again here. Just to give you an idea here, Whiskey 9, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. 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 With Ryan doing the four inches, so fully extended out, and then he retracted four inches, we're pretty much good on every band that we need. Like I mentioned earlier, 40, 20, 15, and 10. Um, so that was the easiest end fed I've ever, and was that already built? Yeah. Yeah, it was already built. And uh, I know what they're going to say, I know what you're going to say. Build it if you want to build it. But uh, it, I thought that was really easy. Now I'm going to see if I can't activate part kilo 1048. Should be pretty easy. 
CQ, Parks on the air, CQ, Parks on the air. This is Whiskey Niner, Foxtrot, 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 W9, FFF, calling CQ, Parks on the air from Park Kilo, 1048. I'm going to mention here real quick on this video that, yeah, you should probably still have a counterpoise wire on there and, and absolutely have a choke on there, a one-to-one -one choke at the actual point of the antenna meeting the coax. Uh, I don't feel like I should have to tell you, but somebody will mention it anyway, so why not tell you? CQ Parks on the air, CQ Parks on the air. This is Whiskey Niner, Foxtrot, 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 W9, FFF, calling CQ Parks on the air from Park Kilo 1048. You know, I forgot to show you about a couple of things. Number one, this wire right here. This wire is actually kind of like elastic it's it's wire that's coated in plastic that's pretty strong i'm not trying to break this because it's not mine but it is 20 gauge wire okay and i could rip it and break it off if i wanted to but uh it's it's decent enough wire it's it's silicone wire so it doesn't have a memory yet it feels stronger than bn tech go the typical stuff i recommend I'm not saying it isn't, but that's it feels stronger than BN Tech O, yet it's still silicone wire, so it does a nice little memory thing. Now, to reel it back in, I took the NFED half wave off of the, the mount that we had it on, and all I got to do, just like a chalk line, is I got to reel it in. Reel it in. And that's why they call it the real potable antenna. I mean, that's pretty simple. And really what it does is it allows somebody to not worry about having to accidentally bunch up all of their antenna wire like I might frequently do. Hey, so I also wanted to mention one thing about this. As I reel this in, the action is surprisingly smoother than I thought it would be. I could hear some bearings in there, but it's a very smooth action. And so there you go. This also means another thing here. If you wanted to be able to do something like, say, this is good all the way out, minus four inches for 40 meters, 20, 15, and 10. But what if you wanted to do something like 17 or 12 or even 30 meters? You could still do it by retracting some of the wire. And you're gonna need an analyzer for that to be able to determine if you're resonant on those bands. But that's as simple as it gets. You retract the wire a certain amount and you're gonna get those bands. So this actually becomes not only a four band antenna, but realistically you could do 40 and up. Anyway, I don't have much time. They're kicking us out of here and I gotta go. So uh, we'll see you in the next date. 73 to you. Bye.